installing a central vacuum and piping. This video, if you choose to watch it, is made for entertainment purposes only. Please wear the appropriate PPE, most importantly, safety goggles, hearing protection, and anything you need to do the job safely. If you are unsure about the job, please get someone who is licensed, insured, and experienced to do and complete the work properly. Thank you. What you see here is the original central vac, the original piping to the house. And some of this piping actually has been cut down. It's quite ridiculous. So what we're gonna do is remove it all, including that central vac, and get started on a fresh slate. We chose this location of the 45 wall because it is in between both pipes equally and we chose to put it at the height you see there so that it's easily accessible to remove the bucket, empty it, so there's no bending down or straining. Also because this wall is not going to be used for much else.
so it is at this point where I'm just going to quickly glue all the joints that are already marked and that way everything has become secure. Now I'm going to leave both sides marked with tape, the joints, because at one point or at some point we're going to be removing the vacuum altogether for painting, right, prime and paint, and this makes it easily accessible to put back together one final time. I left the wiring intact. I do plan on replacing it. It is only two conductor wire, but I just want to show you a quick view of the system in its entirety. Another job well done. I'm gonna mess with them. <laughs>